Guys, look what happened to my cinnamon rolls. What the altitude does. Seriously. I don't have to make them. And that one's trash. Well, while I was in Grand Junction today, I stopped at my herbalist and I picked up some more teas. I picked up a quiet night. It's chamomile, borage, lemon balm, lavender, rose pits, rose petals, rose pits, <laughs> and passion flower. I'll see how this works. I also picked up some dandelion tea, well, dandelion, and this is good for it helps digestion, immunity, it detoxes the liver, and helps the kidneys. And I picked up some chamomile. I love chamomile tea. And chamomile tea helps with hay fever, inflammation, your GI tract, and insomnia. I didn't know that about the insomnia part. And I have some more. Um, I make my own elderberry syrup. And during COVID, I took this every day. Um, this has, elderberries have antioxidants. It helps your immune system. It helps lessen stress. And it also helps your heart, as well as many other things. And I also picked up, well, we were talking about heartburn, GERD, basically. If I eat junk at night, like Oreos, yeah, I'm horrible. Um, in the morning, I will get like a volcanic acid erupting up into my esophagus. So she told me to try this bitters, these bitters, this digestive bitters. And what does it have in it? Hold on, let me see. Uh, dandelion root, burdock, orange, fennel seed, yellow dock root, angelica, and gentian, and ginger. A lot of stuff I already take, but um, she said just squirt about 12 squirts on your tongue. Uh, before your last snack or meal at night. We'll see if this works. Look at this stuff. Some sort of spores. Oh, don't eat that. It's a pretty yellow. Oh, and I are up here on the Crag Crest Trail. After he made that herd of cattle leave, but I have some uh, weird mushrooms. Look at this one. It looks like coral. Oops, sorry. Don't get. It's kind of pretty. Ah, ah, you don't want to eat that. Look at these ones. These are weird. I don't know if these are the ones everybody's been picking. Nope. These have fins on them. Can't eat those ones. There's a whole bunch of them here. One's coming up. My boss invited me over tonight to eat some of the ones you can eat, but I think I'm going to decline. I don't trust wild mushrooms unless it's by an expert. Look at these little mushrooms. That one stops shaking me. That one right there looks like a little butt. They're little tiny things. Look at this pretty one, guys. on it. You don't need it. Not so pretty. Guys, this one is called a hawk's wing. Let's keep it still, Bob. This one's called a hawk's wing. Doesn't look like feathers of a bird. Damn it, Bob. Turn it over. Damn it, Bob. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Looks like hair here. Yeah. My filthy fingers. Ew. Well, Bob's going to eat it, and I'll let you know if, um, you know, we if see him dies. tomorrow. <laughs> look at these mushrooms, guys. Don't eat that, Owen. Pretty. They're all curled up. Wonder what they are. A bit of Owen. I saw this lake coming back from one of the other campgrounds. I've never noticed that it was there before. It was absolutely beautiful. And there's this beautiful little log cabin right here in the woods. I mean, everything up here is so pretty. Here's the cinnamon bear and her cubs. Sorry about the video, guys. I was standing in the middle of the road and a guy was talking to me. I'm trying to get it. There she is right there. And then here's one cub. And here comes the second one. It was so cool to see them in the wild. There's the view from um, up in the ridge here. Kind of a little mountain area I take Bowen. Heard coyotes this morning. Hope they're gone. 
over there is well, down there is a campground. I think I'm moving my trailer over today. We'll see. There's just a like a trench and a pile of dirt on the side of me. I'd like that to be flattened out before I move over there. Almost playing with the grass. He still stops stops to smell the flowers. Here's a trip. Debbie and I stopped at the Blue Spruce Cafe in Cedar Edge to have lunch today, and it's right on this really pretty stream. I've been here several times before, and they do have really good food. Not many vegan options, though, but the view's really pretty. Okay, guys, I'm not really complaining, but my tomatoes are missing their guts. I know that you're not supposed to eat the, the seeds and stuff, but, hmm. Never saw tomatoes come out like that. Look at this pretty one, guys. It's got fins on it. You don't eat it. Isn't she pretty? Here's Owen entertaining himself. What do you want, buddy? A stick? I have a pile of sticks here. He doesn't like me to go where he can't touch me when I take a bottle of it out, so I keep sticks available. Where'd he go? He's loving this fresh dirt over here. He can dig holes in it. just so fun okay guys I finally moved back into my camp spot campsite I got my office set up again sorry about the shadows yep this is where I am I have a uh, new water spigot here a cement pad It's nice to be back over here. I do have some gravel, so the mud isn't as bad. Put my screen down. And if anybody's new, this is a um, screen from a trampoline that I just Velcroed around the sides until I'm able to. I'll make a real screen door, and it's also Velcroed on the bottom. There's my... Uh, my yoga tent. This is my backyard. This is the dirt pile that's still here and is not going to go away. Yeah, I'm just glad to be back over here.